In today's video, we take a look at five everyday carry backpacks, in particular, five everyday carry backpacks that are perfect for urban commuting. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Fast and we do guides and walkthroughs, bring you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell, and also subscribing to our Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter. Let's dive right in and check out these five everyday carry backpacks. For those of you who are following the work that we do here at Rush Faster, we recently released our own laptop sleeve, the Rush Faster laptop sleeve. It's now available for international shipping at rushfaster.co. Link is in the description below. Now, everyday carry is probably one of the biggest carry categories for backpacks out there. So with our top five here today, it needs to be said that in no way does that mean that bags that aren't featured on this video can't be a perfect everyday carry backpack for you. Everyone's different, everyone carries different, and just based on the sheer number of good quality everyday backpacks out there. It's very likely that there is a bag not on this list that is perfect for you. And if that's the case, please let us know in the comments below. We'd love to know what you're working with. And so while we have our own top five picks here today based on build quality, materials, organization, ease of use, and aesthetics, there are a whole bunch of good quality everyday backpacks out there. And later on in the video, we'll actually have a moment to point out some honorable mentions as well. Just like all of our other top five carry category videos, most of the bags featured will have their own dedicated product walkthroughs for a more in-depth look. Okay, first bag that we're looking at is the Air City Pack. This is a newly released product, only released a couple of weeks ago from Air. It's a 14 liter bag and it comes in two material sets in the standard 1680 denier ballistic nylon cordura or the one that we have today, the VX42 X-Pack sailcloth. It's got a very black on black urban aesthetic. It's also got nice gentle rounded corners, relatively sleek profile as well. If we take a look at the harness system, we have air mesh wicking on the shoulder straps as well as the back panel. And it's quite a dense foam padding there as well, so nice and breathable. The shoulder straps are slightly curved and they taper. We've also got a little sternum strap, a little Fidlock magnetic sternum strap, really easy to use. Nice strap management to keep all the slack nice and tidy. The back panel is actually quite heavily padded here. It's elevated, so there's a nice center channel here that allows airflow. And then in that center channel, we also have a luggage pass through if you want to take this bag traveling as well. One thing to note about the back panel is that Air have introduced this patterning here, the shaping here at the top of the bag to produce a much more ergonomic curve on the shoulder there. So you can see this little area here actually allows for just a bit more of an ergonomic fit against that shoulder. It's something that we predominantly see in a lot of bags from Evergoods and we'll actually take a look at an Evergoods bag later on. On the other side of the bag, we have a nice soft nylon haul handle. It's padded as well. Same haul handle at the top here. We've also got a water bottle pocket here, which is gusseted and elasticized. You can see that elastic cuff just at the top there. It isn't the biggest water bottle pocket, but it will fit most standard size water bottles. So this is my 23 ounce Mia water bottle. And it fits in there fine. In terms of organization, we've got four separate compartments. We've got this one on the front face here. We've got YKK AquaGuard zips, by the way. And this is just a big stash area where you can store small everyday goods. There's also a little key leash for you to attach keys to. But no internal organization inside this pocket, just a quick stash space. The next compartment is your admin organization compartment. So this is where you'll be able to store some of those smaller bits and pieces and have them organized. And here you can see the beautiful orange ripstop liner. We've got a number of pockets in here. At the very bottom, we've got two large stretch pockets. We've also got a mesh pocket here, another pocket behind that mesh pocket, a pen slot and then another bigger pocket here. Above that, we've also got a zippered compartment which you can use to separate different size items in there and keep them secure. And then behind that, we've also got another large slip pocket which actually goes all the way to the base of the bag. So you could store documents, papers, maybe even a second laptop if you're carrying two laptops. Just keep in mind, this isn't a dedicated laptop sleeve so we would recommend using a separate laptop sleeve or case just to protect your laptop if you do choose to store it in here. So we looked at the front compartment, just that organization admin compartment. Now we have another small quick access compartment just at the top here. It's a fleece lined pocket, so you can store maybe a phone, a tablet, maybe some sunglasses, anything that you want protected and scratch free. The next compartment is our main compartment and this is where we'll be storing most of our gear. Once again, you can see that bright orange liner it helps you see everything inside. So if you lose something, you drop it to the base, you'll be able to spot it. You can see over here, we have two slip pockets here, which you can use to store other larger tech items. So maybe a portable hard drive, maybe a wireless mouse, a laptop charger, or any other bigger cables, you can just chuck them inside there. Then over here, we just have an elasticated pocket here, which you could store a number of things, maybe a set of headphones, anything that you just wanna keep separated inside this main area. 
Then you've also got the laptop compartment, which is fleece lined and padded and also suspended from the ground and it will fit up to 16 inch laptops. One unique little feature included in this bag is a little pocket for an Apple AirTag or any other similar tracking device. So you can slip that in there, keep track of your belongings, your personal items, especially all the expensive equipment that you might have inside your everyday backpack. Just store it in there, keep it out of sight. But that is the Air City Pack, 14 liters of volume capacity, plenty of organization, good all rounder bag. Next up, we have a really stylish backpack. This is the Bellroy Melbourne backpack. It's a backpack with a slim urban aesthetic and it also has some easy access options so you can really get inside your bag. It is an 18 liter backpack and it also features durable water resistant woven fabrics that are made from recycled materials. Depending on what colorway you get, those material sets might vary slightly, but Bellroy's materials have been pretty reliable so far. The bag has YKK zippers as well as some environmentally certified leather accents throughout the bag. We quickly turn to the back of the bag. We've got a fairly simple harness system, but it is still relatively comfortable. The shoulder straps are ergonomically curved and they taper closer to the end. On the other side we have a nice foam padding here and it's very nice and soft. And you can see here on this side Bellroy have gone with that edgeless strap there so it doesn't dig into your shoulder as much when you're carrying heavier loads or carrying for a longer period of time. We've got that same padding on the back panel here. It's got this nice stretch mesh fabric to enclose all of that foam. No sternum strap here, very simple. Nice brush metal ladder lock so it has a nice premium feel. We've got some strap keepers here to keep those straps nice and tidy and then a little bit of contrast coloring just to give a bit of character. Simple grab handle from the top here and then on the side here we have a water bottle pocket that isn't quite gusseted. It eats into the main compartment here but still has plenty of space to store a water bottle. Here I have a Lark 32 ounce water bottle fit in there nice and easy. On the other side of the bag, we have a small zippered compartment here, a YKK zippered compartment. This is good for just storing any small quick access items like maybe a set of keys, maybe a phone or a wallet. This is particularly helpful if you choose to swing the bag around crossbody, grab your gear inside, whatever you need, and you have access to it. Over here, you can see another zippered compartment here. This actually gives us quick access into the main compartment. So if you open that up and then open up the flap top here, which is secured down by these really soft solid magnets, you can actually get a three-quarter access view inside the main compartment. Whether you're laying this bag flat on the ground or either standing up, it gives you a lot of visibility inside this main cavity. Typically with flap top or roll top backpacks, you just have the flap top to work with and then you're just looking down inside the main compartment. But with this little side zipper here, you can actually get into the compartment quite easily. So here we have a little zippered mesh compartment just to store smaller bits and pieces close to the top of the bag. And then on this side, we've also got another stretch mesh compartment. You could store maybe a set of glasses or sunglasses in there, maybe a portable battery, plenty of space in that main area as well and then two sleeves here to store your devices. So this sleeve here can fit up to a 16 inch laptop. It's padded and it's also suspended from the base of the bag and then here we have another slip pocket which you can use to store a tablet or maybe just an A5 workbook. Very simple layout but still a decent amount of organization for everyday carry and the bag comes packaged in this nice sleek and modern aesthetic. Before we get into the next bag the watch from today's video is the Venture Black Dawn timepiece from Boulder. Boulder make a number of high quality, understated timepieces. This one has a Japanese movement as well as a date window at the four o'clock position. If you're interested in checking out more watches from Boulder, link is in the description below. Okay, now this bag is the Evergoods Civic Half Zip 22 liter. It's an incredibly durable everyday bag built for urban commuting. It's made of a durable 420 denier high tenacity nylon 66, and it features super reliable chunky YKK zippers. Just at the front here, we have a little velcro patch here which you can attach any velcro or morale patches on there this is just one from evergoods themselves if we turn to the back of the bag we have a padded harness system we've got contoured shoulder straps that are nice and padded they're very thick and dense they have an eva foam padding inside we've also got a simple adjustable sternum strap here no strap management on this bag so the straps are a bit loose just keep that in mind one thing to note is that this bag does support a hydration bladder so these little pass-throughs here actually allow for a hydration tube to pass through the back panel is also very firm very dense it's got that same padding there and it's also slightly curved to provide a better ergonomic fit one thing to note is that there's no spacer mesh or air mesh here so breathability sometimes can be lacking 
At the top we've got a wide hall handle here and then one thing that I mentioned earlier is that on a lot of Evergoods bags they have this shaping, this little profile here at the top here which just gives a bit more of a softer curve onto the shoulder straps, allows for the bag to really hug against your shoulders and your chest when you're carrying it. Most bags will have a fairly straight profile on the back panel but the Evergoods bags typically have this shaping here to really curve against your shoulders. Some bags might have ladder locks or anything like that so you can really tweak out that curving but it's good to have this curving built into the bag so that you always have some comfort around that shoulder area. On the sides of the bag we have two four-way stretch mesh water bottle pockets so they're nice and elasticated and they'll stretch out to fit big water bottles. You can fit a 32 ounce Nalgene in there. Here again I just have my Lark 32 ounce water bottle and it fits in there perfectly fine. You can see that little pleat there at the bottom there lets it expand out and there's little pass-through holes there for dirt, debris, any moisture. Again, same pocket on the other side of the bag as well. As far as the compartment goes, the Civic Half Sip has two compartments. The main compartment and then it's also got this small little quick access compartment at the back which is actually built into that shaping on the back panel that I was talking about earlier. So if you open this up, there's a little bit of space for you to organize smaller bits and pieces, maybe a set of keys, given that there's a key leash there, maybe your wallet, your phone, hand sanitizer, face mask, things like that, you can put that just in there. If we open up the main compartment, it opens up about halfway of the bag, and thus the name Civic Half Zip. We've got a nice light gray interior so that you can spot everything inside the bag in case you drop anything. We've got a small little zippered compartment here to organize smaller stuff closer to the top, so you can store some other quick access items in there in the top. And then we've just got a big space inside the middle here. We've got a few utility loops here that you can stash on any EDC equipment, maybe pens, multi-tools, anything like that. And here we've got a suspended and padded laptop sleeve which will fit most 15 inch, 16 inch laptops and even smaller 17 inch laptops. As mentioned this bag also supports a hydration bladder so you simply store it inside that same laptop sleeve, feed through the hydration tube into the shoulder straps and then you have access to hydration. The Civic Half Zip is a good 22 litre everyday backpack that you can use as an understated bag and also can use on the weekends for any light hikes, days on the trail. Next up we have the Peak Design Everyday Backpack Zip. They come in two sizes, 15 litre and 20 litre. Here we have the 20 litre size. The bag is made of a 400 denier nylon canvas shell that is double polyurethane coated and is also DWI impregnated. A great thing about this bag as well as the Bellroy Melbourne backpack is that it's made of 100% recycled post-consumer materials. It's also got anodized aluminium as well as Peak Design's own in-house designed ultra zips. Now a really unique thing about this bag is it is an everyday backpack but it also has a slight focus towards photography as well. On the front of the bag we have these little attachment loops which you can attach accessory straps to lash gear on the front of the bag externally, anything you like. And then on the top of the bag as well as the sides of the bag we have these durable haul handles which are good for just lugging the bag around. At the back of the bag we've got a pretty decked out harness system here. We've got this nice padding on the shoulder straps here, very soft, very plush. We've also got an adjustable sternum strap that can be removed. It's got some nice anodized metal hardware there as well. No strap management for the shoulder straps. But then on the back panel, we have a nice ridge back back panel here. It's nice and padded. Use that same padding on the shoulder straps. But here you can see at the top, we have these coaxial joints here that allow the shoulder straps to just better articulate around the shoulders. So whether you have a bigger or smaller torso, you'll still be able to have a good ergonomic fit around the shoulder. Behind the back panel, we also have a luggage pass-through. So you can use this bag for travel as well. And it shuts down magnetically when you're not using it. On both sides, the bag we have these large stretch water bottle pockets that are elasticized and gusseted. On this side we actually have a little key tether which you can attach your keys to so it's a nice way of just getting access to your keys and it's also an elasticated cord. Now the standout feature for the everyday backpack zip is that it has this wrap around zipper that actually goes all the way around this front section here. So you know on the bottom we have a zipper here, we have a zipper here and then we've also got two zippers in the middle here. You can actually bring those zippers all the way around opening up the bag like so and then inside the bag we've also got these little dividers here that allow you to organize your gear accordingly. So on the wings here we've got the these zippered pockets that allow you to store accessories. We've also got this stretch mesh material here that's secured on by magnets. If we just close this halfway and look into this side, we can see inside here we have these shelves here which you can actually adjust 
to accommodate different size items so if you've got big items you can just store it in there but if you've got small items and you want to separate those spaces you can actually pull up these little divider shelves inside those flex fold dividers give yourself a bit of segmentation for whatever you got so maybe you might have a tech kit put it at the bottom there you might have some food stored in the middle or some different size food maybe a piece of fruit there or whatever you want you can actually coordinate how you want to lay out your gear a great thing about having this fully openable side door is that whether you sling the bag around on your left or your right you can actually coordinate access to your gear from either side of the bag so when you want to access your gear you don't always have to set your bag down on the ground you can actually just swing it around and then access your gear coming around to the top here you can also open it like a traditional top loader and here we have a little zippered compartment here which you can store some small items inside there behind the whole handle we have a little zippered compartment which you can use to store your laptop this is the laptop compartment so there's a laptop sleeve as well as a tablet sleeve and then there's a few little stretch pockets here to store some of your digital peripherals as well so say for instance you might want to store a wireless mouse or a laptop charger just a good place to keep all your laptop accessories close with your laptop this laptop sleeve will accommodate up to a 16 inch laptop sleeve and you can actually adjust the laptop sleeve for smaller laptops so if you have a big laptop it'll fit in there fine if you have a small laptop it'll sink in a bit more but you can actually adjust the laptop sleeve so that your laptop is more closer to the top better for access again this bag comes in a 15 liter and a 20 liter size it's a good backpack for everyday carry especially if you are also a photography enthusiast you can also bring your photography gear along as well for weekend trips it's a bag with a really clean silhouette but still lots of functionality and also a very structured profile and last but not least we have the black ember shadow backpack the black ember shadow backpack comes in two sizes 22 liter and 26 liter here we have the 26 liter size it features black embers proprietary micro hex fabric which is a three layer waterproof textile it has nice water resistance as well as abrasion resistance black ember uses aircraft grade aluminium as well as Hyperlon and YKK AquaGuard zippers. The 26 litre variant also has these bottom accessory loops here which you can use to affix gear at the base of the bag. On the top as well as the sides of the bag we have these haul handles here which are very low profile good for lugging the bag around. If we turn to the back of the bag we've got our harness system we've got curved shoulder straps and they're also quite firm quite rigid they have this nice air mesh wicking inside. We've also got an adjustable sternum strap with a fidlock buckle very easy to use at the back of the bag we've got this perforated EVA foam padding on the back panel it's nice and dense and it's elevated from the back panel so we have this nice center channel in the middle as well center channel also has a luggage pass through one thing about the shadow backpack compared to the rest of the bags here is it has the ability to stow away the shoulder straps this is the butterfly harness system so if you didn't want to have the shoulder straps present and you just want to lug the bag around with the haul handles either in briefcase mode whatever you can actually stow away these shoulder straps if we undo the velcro here, let's stow the bag underneath. You can tidy up that back panel and just carry the bag in briefcase mode, either at the top or on the side. Now one thing that can be a potential deal breaker for a lot of you is that this bag does not have external water bottle pockets unlike all the other bags that we've seen in this video. So while this bag might have some unique features compared to the others like the butterfly harness system and the clamshell opening which we'll take a look at in just a second, it doesn't have an external water bottle pocket. It's got two main compartments, this front quick access compartment and then the main compartment which opens up clamshell. So at the front here, we've got again, we've got that YKK AquaGuard zipper. We've got a little bit of organization here for small items. So a few little slip pockets, some stretch mesh, some pen slots here as well. And then here also a magnetic key leash for you to attach a set of keys to. This front compartment also has a top dimension here. So you can store items at the top there. And here we've also got a little cable pass through here. So if you have a phone stored in here, you might want to charge it through a portable battery inside the main compartment. You could do something like that. But as mentioned, this main compartment has a clamshell opening so we can get full visibility inside this main compartment here. So once we've got to open up clamshell, we can see a laptop and tablet section here on this side. And then over here, we've got a number of other slip pockets, zippered compartments to store smaller bits and pieces. So here we have a stretch compartment that's good for maybe a water bottle. And here we have a larger zippered compartment. And then over here at the top of the bag, we've actually secured down this little organization section 
that opens up like an accordion, little origami section here that has a number of slip pockets that you can use to store smaller bits and pieces, cables, headphones, maybe USB thumb drives, storage devices, anything you want in there, and then secure it down with that magnetic fit lock. On this side, we have a padded tablet sleeve, which is nice and fleece lined. And we've also got a padded laptop sleeve, which will fit up to 16 inch laptops. Some of the great advantages of the shadow backpack is that it has this clamshell opening. It's got the butterfly enclosure for the back panel, and it's also built to withstand water to a really high degree. It's got those YKK AquaGuard zippers, as well as the micro hex textile, which has a three layer waterproof fabric. Okay, so as mentioned, there are a number of good, high quality, everyday carry backpacks out there. So here we're going to take a look at some honorable mentions. First up, we have the Bellroy Classic as well as the Bellroy Classic Backpack Plus. These are both the same bag, just in different sizes, a few little different features as well. But Bellroy make a number of good high quality backpacks that fit the everyday carry category. They're well designed, they're considered, they have a number of useful features and they have a lot of character and style. Again, as mentioned, these bags will be in the description below. Next up, we have the Topo Designs Rover Pack Tech. This is a slight variant off the original Rover Pack, but it has a number of really good features that make it a really good bag. It's currently one of my favorite bags at the moment. Next up, we have the Moment Travel Wear Backpack. This is a really cool backpack from a really cool company. It was released late last year, I believe. Really good bag. Next is the Archetype Dash Pack. This is a bit more of a tactical mil spec sort of bag and it has a really nice slim aesthetic as well, but lots of good features, lots of good hardware as well. There's just a bit of a shout out to Air. This is the Air Day Pack 2. Very similar to the City Pack, but still nevertheless a really well-designed backpack for daily carry. We've also got the Mystery Ranch Prize Fighter, really good EDC backpack, got a lot of good organization and really comfortable harness system. Doesn't have an external water bottle pocket, but other than that, it's a really, really good backpack, very comfortable. Last but not least, we have the Boundary Supply Errant Pack. Now this bag was actually featured in our top five work backpacks because it has a lot of good features built for the work environment, but it also works really well as an everyday backpack. Well everyone, there you have it, our top five picks for everyday carry backpacks, perfect for urban commuting. Let us know what you think about these picks, especially if there are any bags that we might have missed, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're thinking about getting any of these bags, either these top five or any of the honorable mentions, there are affiliate links in the description below. Using any of those affiliate links really do go a long way to support the work of the channel, so we really do appreciate any support there. And if you wanna support us further, you can hit the like button, you can hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to the Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter and if you want to see any other videos like this, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, these are our top five picks on everyday carry backpacks. Take care and we'll see you next time.